But from a spiritual standpoint, it's like, you know, hold up, let's look at this through the lens of scripture. So in fact, think, speaking of the paper, let's just, let's take a look at some of the claims. Let's do a quick breakdown of like, like a few of the main claims. So about the sentient plasmoids, the paper suggests that these plasma formation or plasmoids observed by NASA during various space shuttle missions display behaviors that could be interpreted as intelligent or lifelike. They've been seen uh, moving in coordinated ways, changing direction abruptly, and even appearing to interact with each other and human-made objects in space. They also it also makes a UAP connection. So uh, these it says that these plasmoids could explain some UAP sightings, uh, especially those described as glowing orbs or lights. Their ability to evade radar, manipulate electronic devices, and exhibit rapid, seemingly impossible maneuvers might be due to their electromagnetic properties rather than advanced alien technology. And then uh, their scientific view from purely a scientific standpoint, the paper suggests these plasmas might be a new form of life or at least a, even a precursor to life, challenging our understanding of what life can be. Uh, they could be natural phenomenon, yet their behavior suggests a complexity that we're only beginning to understand. Uh, so now... Remember that that's just the scientific claims of the paper. If you're like me, you might see these plasmoids not just as a scientific curiosity, but as potential players in the spiritual battle described in the Bible. 